Hey guys, this is Eric Tarr for theproaudiofiles.com. I just picked up the new version of Ozone, so I wanted to take you through some of the new features with the plugin. To begin with, I'm actually running the standalone version of the software. This means that Ozone can be used independent of a host digital audio workstation. I know this will be a significant improvement for some people who struggle to run the software inside their DAW, especially if your CPU had a hard time running Ozone 5. In theory, this standalone application can be your one-stop shop for mastering. Within this application, a song can be imported, processed by Ozone, and then saved. Let me go ahead and bring in a pre-mixed song to work on. There is also another new feature that helps make this standalone application your one-stop shop for mastering. Ozone now includes VST and audio units hosting. Therefore, if your mastering workflow includes several processors along with Ozone, you can load them and even change the order of the signal chain with these processors. Here, I have the Slate Digital VTM plugin running with the Sonics Inflator and the IK Multimedia Fairchild Compressor. This can be really powerful and flexible if you have favorite tools to use during mastering. In my opinion, the overall interface has also been greatly improved. It is much easier to see the order of processing of each of the modules based on the drag and drop menu along the bottom. This is a big improvement from having to go deep into the settings to change the order and then you still didn't have the visual confirmation on the home screen. Now there is a constant display of each of the modules in their order. The last major change in the new version is the addition of the new dynamic EQ module. You can probably also notice that the old reverb module is gone, and that was probably a good exclusion. There are very few situations in mastering when it's a good idea to add reverb to an entire mix. However, if you are desperate, you can still load the old reverb module as a plugin. So let's get back to the dynamic EQ module. If you're new to the concept of a dynamic equalizer, it is somewhat of a cross between a multiband compressor and a conventional EQ. However, rather than splitting the spectrum into several separate frequency regions, the dynamic EQ instead just changes the amplitude of a spectral curve based on the amplitude of an input signal. This can work in two ways. The amplitude of the curve can be reduced during the loud parts of the song, or the amplitude can be increased during the loud parts. For my own initial use, I'm having a hard time coming up with situations for using the dynamic EQ when it comes to an entire mix. I just can't seem to think of a situation for mastering where I would prefer to use it in place of a multiband compressor or a conventional EQ. Part of that has to do with the fact that the detection signal is actually wideband here compared to the multiband compressor. Maybe I'll just have to spend more time experimenting with it. I can, however, think of several situations when I'd want to use the dynamic EQ on individual instruments rather than an entire mix. I think I'll put together another video with some of these ideas. All in all, Ozone 6 has some fantastic improvements over previous versions. I'm very impressed with what Isotope was able to come up with. I'm really looking forward to using this plugin in standalone application on many projects in the future. Make sure to check it out. Take care, guys.